Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy. And no, that title is not being exaggerated. Anycubic is the subject of a massive security breach right now that affects their 3D printers that are connected to the internet. So if you haven't heard about this, I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. So it all started with people getting these unsolicited messages on their Anycubic machines. And here's what one such message looks like right now. So this is a picture that someone uploaded uh, to Reddit, and you see it says hacked machine readme.gcode. Now, this is something that they did not put on their printer, it just appeared there all by itself. And when you look at this G code in the text editor on your computer, it says this Your machine has a critical vulnerability posing a significant threat to your security. Immediate action is strongly advised to prevent potential exploitation. Feel free to disconnect your printer from the internet if you don't want to get hacked by a bad actor. This is just a harmless message. You have not been harmed in any way. So it appears that the person who figured out this vulnerability intended to warn everybody about their machines being compromised. And instead of doing something malicious to cause them harm, they just inserted this message just to get the word out. But they go on by saying, Bruh, y'all think this is fake. Too funny. You should blame Anycubic for their MQTT server, which allows any valid credential to connect and control your printer via the MQTT API. What can be done? Well, I could RM your whole computer, your whole printer rather, but I don't feel like wasting your prints or filament you have spent real money on. It's also possible to put a startup script in the printer, but I have not done so. Let's just hope Anycubic fixes their MQTT server. Also, please, Anycubic, make the printer open source. Everyone will benefit from that. It would honestly increase sales. It's a great machine, but the software is lacking. You can basically call me a printer god right now, but please disconnect your printer from the internet until Anycubic patches this issue. Thank you for understanding. By the way, this number definitely looks like not over 2.8. 9 million is the amount of printers who has tried to receive this message. So like I said, they're just trying to get the word out that there's this massive security breach with these any cubic printers that will allow potential bad actors to at best just look at what your printer is doing and at worst cause some really potentially bad damage. So any cubic right now is aware of the problem and over on Reddit, they address this somewhat uh, by saying, hi, sorry to hear this, which by the way, the, the, the thread is hacked message everyone uh, is getting for any qubit. So they said, hi, sorry to hear this. We have reported this to our engineers. Can you please help us diagnose the issue and share the information, including your any cubic APP account name, CN code, your device log, and send your hacked G code file with us if there is one at, and then they give this Google Docs link. Um, but one of the repliers said, no, I cannot because I never created a user account, never installed the app, never connected the printer to my network, and I'll never do so. Um, so that's one thing that they were doing to try to rectify this, kind of fix it. But then if you also take a look on the official Anycubic Facebook page, you can see that someone else has another photo of their machine also getting this hacked machine dot readme g code file uploaded to it automatically. And as you can see here, this is the file that I previously showed. But then also in addition to that, we have the um, admin for the Anycubic Facebook page saying, hello, I've reported this to our team to check and we'll get back to you guys ASAP. Now that was a day ago. So if you're kind of wondering what kind of potential damage can be done from someone having access to your printer like this in this way, well, your imagination is the limit. But I thought it was very eye opening that a few people who commented on this painted some scenarios that can be really potentially dangerous. Now, I don't know how likely this is to happen or how capable it is of happening, but I have no reason to really doubt it right now. So let's just see what some of these people had to say. So this guy says, you are effed once this hits news outlets. This is an insane breach covering hundreds of thousands of devices. All it takes is one bad actor to change a few settings and start fires in mass every printer found wide open without security. 
Um, this other person says, really, do they have sensor to determine if resin is even in the unit or will the hacker just try to uh, burn up the print lamp? Because, you know, resin printers, they need that UV light and maybe they can just turn it on and leave it on and, 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 and uh, shorten the life of a resin 3D printer. So the reply is these are FDM printers. Change parameters to 666 Celsius hot end and extrusion rate to make a jam that overheats and combusts. It's a simple thing to make happen with the wrong settings. And with resin printers, you can run them full power nonstop and break the LCD and lamp or just F with the printer settings, having a persistent worm that damages settings randomly until you flash a new firmware with a fixed security hole or anything one can imagine with a control device even be a part of a botnet or have your printer hacking your devices as the wi-fi password is visible once the printer firmware on the printer firmware where is stored in plain text so some doomsday scenarios if you will by some of these commenters over on facebook but it's still extremely concerning and in addition to that i was reading this TechCrunch article here and where they link to a forum post from a user that has apparently tried to reach out to Anycubic to discuss some other vulnerabilities. And it says here, we have attempted to communicate with Anycubic regarding two critical security vulnerabilities we identified. In particular, one can be catastrophic if found by a malicious. Despite our efforts over the past two months, we have not received a single response to our three emails. These vulnerabilities are significant and we have invested considerable time and effort into addressing them. Despite our initial intention to solve this issue amicably and we still hope in it, it appears that our concerns have not been taken seriously by any cubic. Consequently, we are now preparing to disclose these vulnerabilities to the public along with our repo and our tools. And jumping back to this TechCrunch article, they pointed out that uh, any cubic said in a July 2023 interview that the company had 3 million cumulative sales. And then you just compare that against the uh, alleged 2.9 million AnyCubic 3D printers that tried to receive that message. So that pretty much covers them. Um, so the, the thing here is, Everyone that I've seen so far, as far as the pictures go, they were for FDM printers, which the potential for danger when you're dealing with that amount of heat can be significantly more than a resin printer where you can potentially burn out the screen or if you have a print that's already on the resin printer and someone made your printer start and there's no kind of uh, sensors in place to stop it from printing when something is on the bill plate, then yeah, it could just destroy the screen. It could potentially uh, overflow the resin vat and kind of make a mess. But when it comes to FDM printers, you're dealing with these hot ends that can get up to 300 degrees Celsius. You get these bed temperatures that can get up to really high amounts as well. And doing different things that could possibly, like that person said, start clogs and maybe even start fires. And can you imagine if something like that were to happen, if someone were to take control of these machines, did something to cause fires, burning down people's houses, maybe some people maybe lose their lives in these fires, and then it hits the main news outlets, you're gonna have an absolute mess. Can you imagine the amount of backlash and especially political backlash from this when someone says that a these 3D printers that were manufactured and created in China had horrible security that led to someone being able to hack the printers, burning down houses and causing the deaths of Americans, Europeans and wherever else someone else may live. It would be an absolute disaster, not just for any cubic, but for all 3D printer manufacturers as well. So any cubic has yet to really uh, put out a statement addressing this, but they need to do it and they need to do it yesterday. And this is just the latest issue to occur when it comes to 3D printers being connected to the internet. We've seen uh, vulnerabilities exposed before, such as Bamboo Lab printers coming online by themselves and printing in the middle of the night, or Creality printers that are connected to the internet and have people have been able to access printers that weren't theirs when they're just trying to log into their own accounts and they're able to see the camera from other people's printers as well. So not just being able to control someone's printer, but being able to have the camera operating as well. 
peeking into someone else's home. Just a really, really bad thing. And now we have this with Anycubic. So it really, really makes you want to think twice about having these printers connected to the internet because these things just keep popping up. And you can still operate them even if they're not connected to the internet. It does mean that you'll have to give up Wi-Fi printing, but hey, I think that that's worth it for that little extra security, especially considering right now, it doesn't seem like the security measures for a lot of these companies are in the place that they need to be. So that's it for now. I'm gonna keep my eyes open and uh, keep checking back to see if and when any Cubic releases an official statement about this and, and when a fix is going to be issued and just any kind of reassurance that they can give their customers because this is a huge deal right now and uh, this needs to be addressed sooner rather than later. So that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.